expressing an amount as a percentage of a total. Now this is a percentage question where they're asking you to find out what percentage something is. They haven't given you a percent. In previous visit, um, videos, they've said please find 30% of a total. They haven't told you a percentage, they've asked you to find out what it is. So you can say, when they're asking for a percentage, you know your answer is going to have to include percent because that's what you're asked, being asked to find. Now I did another video which was how to solve any percentage problem and I went through how to do this and I think that's easier but if you want to just learn how to solve this particular problem or type of problem we'll do it here. If you prefer to use the overall working that works for everything that's fine too. So when they say that they want me to write an amount out of a total as a percentage, then what we have to do is our percentage will equal the amount out of the total times a hundred. So this is our rule for how to find out what percentage something is. So anytime they give you a question where they ask you to express something as a percentage or say they say what percentage of this, they will have given you an amount and a total and you need to work out which is which. And it's a good idea to find it in the question and circle it or underline it, amount and total. So for this one, when I've got percentage equals amount out of total times 100, the amount is 18 out of 25, and that makes sense, 18 out of 25, it's a fraction, 18 out of 25, times 100, and by doing the proper working, it tells you exactly what to type into your calculator, because any time you pick the calculator up, you should already have written what's going into it. 18 divided by 25 times 100. Or, if you preferred, you could do 18 over 25 times 100, which looks more like our question, but they would both get the same answer of 72. And we set out to find out what percentage something is. So that says 18 out of 25 is 72%. So I guess someone passed their test. 18 out of 25 turns out to be pretty good. Here's another type of this question. Express 36 minutes as a percentage of two hours. So it's like you've got a two hour test and you've 36 minutes in, what percentage of your time have you used? Now there's one tricky thing here. This is my total. This is my amount, and they've asked me to find a percentage, so I know I'm using this method, but my amount and my total are in different units, and that won't work for a percentage. You've got to make sure they're the same units, so you'd change one of them to match the other units. Now, 36 minutes to hours is a bit tricky, but two hours to minutes is nice and easy. So, Two hours is, I hope we can remember that it's 120 minutes, but if not, it would be two lots of 60, which is 120 minutes. So that's actually my total, because my amount and my total have to be in the same units. And then we solve it the same way. My percentage will equal the amount out of the total times 100. The amount was 36, the total was 120, and I must times by 100. 36 over 120 times 100, 30%. So I've used 30% of my test time, and I've got 70% left.
Another example, a word example this time. There are 1,435 students at Darramalan, of which 348 are new this year. What percentage of the students are new? So you can see that it's a find the percentage question because they said what percentage. They didn't give you a percent. There's no percent sign in there. They want you to find a percentage. They've told you the total and they've told you the amount. So we remember our steps. Percentage equals amount out of total times 100. That will be, here's my amount, 348 out of 1435 times 100. Now I've written down what's going in the calculator. I can put it in. 348 over 1435 times 100. Now, 24.25, we can round. The question might say what they want to do to round to. I want the nearest percentage, so that's 24. Cut off there. That's not five or more, so we just truncate at 24%. And because it was a word question, we identify the question, what percentage of the students are new? And I answer it. Therefore, 24% of the students are new. There we go. How to find an amount out of a total as a percentage.